this video, I'm going to show you how to package a Copilot Studio agent into a solution so that you can use it over and over again. So we'll first start by answering the question, what is a solution and why do we even care about this? And the answer is that a solution is basically, think of it where you package up your Copilot Studio agent into a package that you can then take and be able to export it out and then import it in. This is commonly used whenever you wanna move from lower environments to upper environments inside of your development life cycle. But you can also do this just to be able to create yourself a base template or a starting point. Things like this is a good example of why you might actually want to be able to export and then import in your copilot or agent uh, whenever you are ready to get this thing to a final state. Now, another thing you should be aware of is that when you go to package your agent into a solution, you're going to have two options. You're going to have the ability to have it managed versus unmanaged, which is basically equivalent to, is it going to be locked or is it going to be unlocked? for edits once it's imported. And so I'm gonna show you how to do both of these in this video, and we'll kind of go through the process of being able to do this. And know that there are some tricks that are involved depending on how your uh, copilot or agent has been built. So what you see here is that I just recently went to the North America Community Summit, and at that event, this is the demo that I built for that particular event. And what I want to do is show you how I could package this thing up. Now, the key thing here is be aware that one of the things I'm going to showcase here is that I do have actions inside of this. And one of the things that you'll notice is that I have both connectors that I'm using that are pre-packaged connectors like the Weather app, and I also have a custom connector that I built for this custom API that I used. And if you want to know how to build your own sample API, I've got a video uh, for that. I'll put a link for that right here. However, when you have a custom connector, you will have to package in a slightly different way just because of the fact that the connectors don't load uh, before as part of the same package. So think of it that what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to think, do I have custom connectors? And if I do have custom connectors involved in my solution, then I need to package those independently because I need to have them present in my environment before I can actually provision uh, a, an agent or a copilot that I've built that has a dependency on that particular connector. So I hope that makes sense. So let's go ahead and take a look at how I'd go about doing this. So one of the easiest ways to be able to do this is that you can just come in and you can say that you want to hit export. And this will take you to the solutions page inside of the Power Platform. So once this loads up, what you will see is that you can come in and you can say that you want to create a new solution. Now for me, the first thing I want to do is I want to create a solution that is basically the one for the actual connector. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put in one here. We'll just call it Summit Event. Then you'll have to come in and select a publisher. Notice I've already got one created. If you need to create your own, a different publisher, you can click New Publisher and fill this out and it will allow you to have your own publisher. I already created one for me. You'll have a version uh, so that you can have different version controls and you can see the difference in that. And then there are more options in here, but you'll see that it's going to say right here that it's an unmanaged solution uh, down here at the bottom currently. So we'll go ahead and hit create. So now that we've hit create, what we want to do is we want to come in here and we want to say add existing because we've already created all of this stuff. So we need to get it into a solution. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go get the connector and bring it in. 
So what you'll do is come down to Automation and to Custom Connector. And in this case, I have my custom connector. It's outside of Dataverse, so I will go in here and I'll grab this one here, which helps me with the hotel reservations. Now, if I have multiple custom connectors that are required, you can package them all together. So like for the North America Summit, I could have had one for hotel reservations. I could have had another uh, custom connector that helped with um, the event schedule, all of those different things. But you'll see here, now I've actually got this uh, into my package here. So now that it's been added in, what we can do is we can just come back over here and hit this back button. And you'll see that I've got my actual uh, implementation here. So now what I want to do is I want to export the solution. Now, in order to be able to export it, you will have to go through a publish action. So you'll go ahead and hit publish. Now, if it's already been published, you won't have to do this. Okay, so now we're, we've got this published. So I can go ahead and click next. And here's where we will choose whether we want it to be managed or unmanaged. And again, this is really nothing more than us deciding, do we want this thing to be editable or do we not want it to be editable? And because this is my actual connection uh, that I want to have for this, and it's unique to this particular scenario, it always needs to go to the same place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it as a managed solution. And then you can even check this box right here to say to run the solution checker on export. And we're going to go ahead and hit export. And you can see that we had a version number. And what will happen is you're going to see it up here say that it's going to export it. Now, this might take a second for it to do, but we'll let it run. OK, and as you can see, my solution is done. And I can actually come over here and click download now. And now that I've downloaded it, I can just say uh, save as, and let's just put it in my downloads. And notice here the summit event and it with the, with the actual version number with managed. So we're just gonna go ahead and save that off right there. And now let's go work on making a solution for the rest of, of it that depends upon this particular connection. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to package up and create a new solution. And this new solution is going to be for the actual agent that I had. So we'll just call this NA Summit Agent. And I'll go ahead and select my publisher like we did before. Version's fine. And go ahead and get, click Create. Okay, now that we have our actual uh, solution created what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and we're going to say add existing we're going to come in here and grab copilot and i'll click on copilot again and we'll select the one that we want which is going to be this one right here the north america summit assistant and one of the things that i want you to notice is it added a bunch of different things inside of this um, including um, connection references and things of this nature but one of the things that we need to make sure that we take care of is we already have packaged the actual custom connector so we want to take that custom connector right here and we want to remove it from the solution now now that we've removed it from the solution, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to say that we want to click back and then we want to go in and say that we want to export the solution. Now we'll have to go through a publish action here to be able to do this. So we'll go ahead and do our publish. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say next. And you'll see here that it's saying that there is a managed solution dependency here. It's just telling you that if you don't have the AI Builder solution default templates installed, that you're going to have a failure when you go to your import. 
So just be aware that if you have AI Builder as part of what you're demoing, you may get this particular error. Just make sure that you have AI Builder in your environment. I'll go ahead and hit next. Here's where I'm gonna change this though. I'm gonna say unmanaged is the solution I want. I'll tell it to run the solution checker on the export and we'll click export. You'll see here that it, we're uh, exporting it now. This may take a minute. And just like that, we've now exported successfully. We can go ahead and go download. Let's just save, save as, and I'm just going to overwrite. I'd already saved this one once before. I'll just save it again in, uh, with the same name. And I'll say, yes, I want to replace it. And just like that, now we have downloaded our solution that you export from you can't import into if you want to see how to do that go watch the video I show you how, how to make a template out of uh, your solution so what we want to do now is we want to finish this process though we want to go in and we want to import our copilot into this new environment or new tenant and what I'll do is I'll click on copilots here and you'll see that I don't have any except for these uh, this one that I've uh, imported in before, but I'm going to go ahead and import another one and I'm going to say go to solutions and when we go to the solutions page, this is just the same thing as where we were exporting before. We're just going to go through an import process. So we'll let this load up and you'll see here that we can click on import solution here at the top. We'll go ahead and say browse and then we'll go to downloads and you'll see here, the first thing we want to do is we need to get that connector because the connector is required for the other solution. So what we want to do is go ahead and grab that one and we want to open that up and we want to follow the process of importing. So we'll just click next. You'll see here that again, we have it as a managed uh, item and you can see the version and the publisher and such. So I'm going to go ahead and click import. And you'll see up here that it's saying that it's importing the solution. Now this takes some time, so I'm gonna speed up the video. And you can see it's successfully imported now. Now the next thing is you'll notice that it isn't listed down here. That's because it's a managed solution. So let's make sure we click over on managed and we see it right here. So now second step is let's go ahead and import the other solution, which is the actual uh, agent that we created. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one and open it. You'll notice that it doesn't say managed in its title, but you'll also here see that it says the type is unmanaged as well. You see the name, the publisher, and all of this. So we'll go ahead and hit next. Now this is a part where whenever you bring in a new agent, you have to create the connections over again that you had within your implementation. So we don't export user IDs and passwords and allow you to be able to pass this back and forth that wouldn't be secure. So in this case, both of these connections required uh, an anonymous connection. So you'll see it goes ahead and creates the anonymous connection for it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit import here and it'll go ahead and start the import. Again, this takes a minute, so I'm gonna speed up the video for you. Okay, so now we've successfully imported again, and you'll see that we need to flip over to unmanaged, and we'll see it right here. I'll go ahead and click in, just so that we can take a look at this together, and we'll just close out these little pop-ups that come up at the top. And you'll see here that everything that was inside of our agent that we exported is now inside of this new solution. Now, the next step will be to switch back over to Copilot Studio. We'll notice in Copilot Studio, we don't see this actually in here. So what we need to do is do a Shift F5, or you can just do a refresh on your browser. And voila, now we see it here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click in on it because we wanna take a look at this solution or this implementation of this agent that we imported in and because it's unmanaged, what's gonna happen is we'll be able to edit it. So you can see here, we could edit anything that we want. It's not all grayed out. You could come in and add knowledge. You could do all of these things. 
And just to show you that this thing came over okay, we can ask, uh, uh, is Dwayne Robinson a presenter? And you'll see that this is going to go through. We'll even flip over to the planner because I've got this turned on. You can see it go check the knowledge sources, come back and answer the question. Yes, I was a presenter at the North America Community Summit. And that event was actually really cool. I just got back from San Antonio from this and you guys should definitely check that one out. Now, I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. If you like videos like this and you want more educational content on Copilot Studio, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can go try Copilot Studio at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.